These artisanal miners dig for gold ore by hand from a mountainside in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. Before they moved to this place about five years ago, miners like Sylvain Mutula said life was a little easier. Back then, they lived on a fertile hillside where they could grow their own food. But in 2010, they were relocated so a Canadian mining company called Banro could build the first industrial gold mine in this troubled region. The site was approved by Congo's government, which also granted the mining concession. The people living there were moved to a hard scrabble mountaintop called Sunjira. The displaced villagers say Banro promised many things, including jobs. <laughs> Banro CEO John Clark says the relocation site was chosen by the community and not the company, which would have preferred moving them elsewhere. Local leaders say it was selected by a Congolese official. Banro executives say the company has kept its promises to the community to hire area residents and provide other services. But they say the operation isn't big enough to hire the tens of thousands of people in the area who want jobs. On-the-ground challenges have burdened the company's attempts to produce gold in one of the world's poorest, most violent, and most corrupt nations. Mechanical problems delayed production, and protests are common. 18-year-old Ishira Chisinga said he was shot and wounded by a mine policeman during a recent demonstration of protesters blocking Banro's gate. Mr. Clark says a guard fired a warning shot to break up the protest that accidentally hit Mr. Chisinga. The plummeting gold price and on-the-ground challenges like these have helped drop Banro's share price sharply over the past three years. That's hit Banro's biggest shareholder, BlackRock. Like other big investors, BlackRock used to avoid the huge risks associated with small frontier mines in unstable places. But the boom in commodities in the past decade lured investors in. Many of their bets didn't pan out as commodity prices dropped and problems with management and political instability remained. BlackRock says it has a rigorous investment process and a strict set of criteria that is adhered to before any investment is made. There are signs of Banro's efforts to support the community, like improved roads and this ambulance the company donated to the local hospital. And Banro CEO Clark says the company's charitable foundation is continuing to help local communities. He said that in recent months, the company has also raised money to provide local people with cows. But residents say that doesn't make up for what was lost. It's only a part of the Me, Babangu, Tate, and Wokuzana Baba, Yinjo Mune.